basic payday to tutorial in less than 10 minutes. Look into the settings tab on your first launch of the game because default settings are an outdated horrible mess. First things you want to do are the tutorials for loud and stealth. Not necessarily for the tutorial itself, but rather for the starter bonus that you can claim in the career tab. There are 7 difficulty levels in this game and a modifier that's supposed to enhance the challenge. Difficulties are indicated by skulls, the more the higher. Normal, Hard, Very Hard, Overkill, Mayhem, Death Wish, Death Sentence, One Down. Because the game is easily moddable and has no anti-cheat whatsoever, you should look out for lobbies with these mods, as they might hurt your experience. This is how you check what mods are installed in a specific lobby. Inventory tab is where you equip your skills, weapons, perk decks, character, and etc. This is cash money. It's used for buying weapons, masks, and modifying them. This is offshore money. It's used for buying contracts in the contract broker and offshore payday. These are continental coins, the only practical use of which is buying weapon modifications that you don't own. All of the primaries and secondaries are viable even on the highest difficulty, so just choose whatever you want. Most weapon classes have a skill tree that boosts its performance. The most weapon firepower comes from the skills that you use. Speaking of which, skills. Other than a few specific rules, you're absolutely free to take whatever you want. You should always have those two skills due to how cheap they are for the benefits they provide. That skill is very good and you should have it in almost every build due to the way armor works in this game. These skills make for the best survivability combo in the entire game, objectively. All of the products are viable, even on the highest difficulty, so just choose the one that you find the most suitable for your playstyle. Also, don't listen to the product categories because most of them are wrong and make no sense whatsoever. The game features 10 deployables. Most of them are self-explanatory, so I'll just run through a few misconceptions a new player might have. For stake, it's don't actually restore your downs, only health. You can use them to prevent downs though. Suppressed sentries don't actually draw less attention from the cops. When you finish a fully upgraded ammo bag, you will gain 60 seconds of infinite ammo. Armor bag is completely fucking useless. <laughs> Melee isn't actually as useless as it might seem. All it takes is just a couple damage skills to kill a bulldozer in one hit on the highest difficulty. These melees are your go-to and everything else is either a reskin or a downgrade. Honestly, just don't really touch this tab. It's tied to build so you have to edit it for every new one and the boost that it provides just break the flow of the game. Only Infamy 1 is important as it lowers the required skill point amount to unlock tier 4 skills, which in return allows you to do this instead of this. Beyond that, it's just cosmetics. Stealth and payday is fairly simple, and since I'm a loud only player, I'll keep that part short. If you kill a guard, the pager will go out. If you don't answer, the alarm will go off. You can only answer up to 4 pagers, the 5th one will force the eyes to go loud. The lower your detection risk is, the longer it will take for anyone to spot you. Guards and cameras can spot you even with the mask off. But civilians can't. These cameras can be broken. These cannot. You can momentarily disable cameras and cell phones with ECM jammers. You can also momentarily disable pagers from going off with this skull. 
You can manually disable cameras for 25 seconds with this skill as well. You can bag corpses and move them around, however the body bags can be spotted. The only decks that are used in stealth are Burglar, which is just generally a decent deck with passive buffs. It's best for starting players because of its simplicity. Hacker because of two pocket ACMs that allow you to save the heist in case you mess up. It's also pretty good on for starters. And Yakuza, which is only used to gain a movement speed boost. It's usually recommended for experienced players. Lel, despite seeming like a simple shoot cop simulator at first, is actually much more complex than stealth. The main part of Loud is the police assault. Assault consists of three phases. Control, which is calm music with little to no enemy presence. Anticipation, which is when the music and enemy spawns are starting to ramp up. And then there's the assault itself. That's when the assault banner shows up and the game starts constantly shooting out enemies as fast as it can. You usually don't want to be out in the open during this phase. Some maps also feature scripted endless assaults. Now onto the enemies. The common enemy types are light and heavy SWATs. The latter is usually just the beefier variant of the former. There are also special enemies. Shields, which you can just bash or pierce right through with certain weapons. Tasers, which can be countered by shooting and knocking them down. Or using this skill. Medics, whose heal you can usually just shoot right through without much issues. Cloakers, the best cut in a witch is your own awareness. Bulldozers, whose weak spot is their face play. And snipers, who penetrate right through the player's armor and deal a lot of damage. Honestly, just jump into the very hard difficulty right away and work your way from there. Enemies on normal difficulty literally physically cannot kill you, and hard difficulty doesn't get much better than that. Deathwish might be too overwhelming for a new player with its increased enemy tankiness and damage relative to the difficulty below. And then there's the kind of worms that is death sentence with its own rules and playstyles. Meanwhile, very hard overkill and mayhem, despite being almost complete reskins of each other, can actually teach a new player something without being too unforgiving. Generally, the better products in loud are either the ones that focus on health or the ones that provide some sort of short-term god mode. Large focus products, while being strong, can still be a noob trap due to the bad habits that they can teach you, so be careful with those. Avoid these maps on higher difficulties until you feel confident in yourself. Build shotgun accuracy towards slower end if you're using ammo types with multiple pellets. Speedpool magazines are extremely good. Flashbangs are the best grenade type in the entire game. Quick fix is not better than painkillers in 99% cases. Revenant skill tree is a noob trap. Best DLC to get is the Legacy Collection Pack. If you want a more comprehensive guide that will go through all of the game aspects in depth, I seriously recommend this video by Carrot, which isn't out at the moment of me making this, but I will add the pop-up here and link in the description when it's published. Goodbye.